Today I'm going to show you how to make an old cool EBM bass sound using Xfer Serum. Last time in this video I showed you how to make a modern bass sound but now I'm going to show you how to make an old school one using a modern plugin. So let's dive into the world of electronic body music. Let's go. To make a nice EBM bass sound, I like to have two layers of serum. I like to have a distorted one that is gonna be on top of the mix. And then I like to have another that is not distorted, a clean signal that is gonna be under the mix. So I have a Cubase project here that is from my pack, old school EBM. Let's have a listen. What a nice bass sound, I like it. So let's start by the top layer. So the top layer is really simple. It's two FM waveform. One is down two octaves and the other one is down one octave. Then envelope two is assigned to the cutoff and also the velocity to the cutoff. Then you go to the FX section. I'm gonna add a hyper and some distortion, which is really, really important. That's our distorted layer that is gonna make like the whole texture of the sound. So this is with, and this is without. So th this is the whole sound. It's the sinful distortion. I really like this distortion. You have to be really uh, subtle with it because uh, it gets distorted really fast. Then I added a compressor a filter. The filter is assigned to the uh, envelope three. So that's width. That's without. So it's really to control the top end of the sound. And then I added a little bit of reverb. That's without. That's with. Then I added an EQ to cut the low end because my low end is gonna come from my other layer. I also boosted just a little the mid frequencies. And that's pretty much it for our first layer. I have also a LFO tool. Then we have our second layer, which is pretty much to a detuned sawtooth waveform with a sub oscillator. We have our sub oscillator, noise, one sawtooth oscillator, down two octaves, Then another one down one octave. Then I assign the velocity to the cutoff. Then the FX section is pretty much just a compressor. The other FXs that I added are pretty much just for creative purposes uh, during the song. Just like this. And then the two layers together sounds like this. The most important part, like I said in my other video, is since we assign the velocity to the cutoff, I have to write my riff with the velocity using the pen tool. Because if I write anything like this, random. I don't have, I don't have a nice riff. I don't have a song. So this is the riff that I came up with. So all the upper notes have a stronger velocity. So to to ten to to ten to to ten to to ten to to ten. And this is how it sounds all together. Thank you. 
very simple, but it is very, very important to take your time to design good sounds because EBM is pretty much your bass sound. It's the whole song. So you have to take your time and make good sound design. I love EBM bassline. They're the best. Let me know in the comment section what topics you'd like me to cover next. If you want to use the sounds or the Cubase template, the link is going to be in the description. Also, if you want to support my work, my Patreon page, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao.